Well, hi, and welcome to my uh, shop. And we're going to look at some more uh, interesting things. We're not going to do any work. And the interesting things are bad vacuum tubes. And you know, I've been sorting through quite a few vacuum tubes um, for the last week or two. And along the way, of course, there's been some that have shown up that have not been good. So I'm going to show you what they look like and how to recognize uh, a tube that's not in good shape. So this one, you see the white, the white color inside of it. And that indicates that air has leaked into this tube somehow. Can't see, can't see how with that one. So here's another, here's another tube. And again, you see the white on the top of it. And uh, yeah, I don't see what's happened, but something has happened. It's caused air to get into the tube. Okay, here's another one. Again, you can see the white color. And this time, this time you can see what's happened to it. It's suffered a terminal collision there and cracked. So. And here's one that's also white on the top. See, it's very, very distinct. Good tube where you see white, you should see that. Not that. That's not right. So this one, the tip has been broken off. And here's another one. This guy's he's in rough shape. Rough shape. I think uh, well, we'll just leave them over here because I think I think the rest of them is just in here somewhere. So lots of these. There's a tip broken off again. So if you see a tube with that white on it, you know it's no good. Here's another one. After you've seen quite a few of these. Um, not hard to recognize at all. Here's another one. Now you can see the tip is broken right off. You can see the hole in it. You don't need the white to uh, tip you off. But it almost looks like the more dramatic the uh, hole, the uh, well, maybe I'll take that back. <laughs> Say more dramatic the hole, the less the the white. Like if the air rushes right in there, it doesn't do as much as if you uh, do that. That's a 6 BA6. That's a relatively useful tube for, you know, it's in a lot of radios. So. This one's never going back into radio, though. You might want to take, take that apart for that. <clears throat> oh, here's the rest of that other tube. That's this one here. This is kind of interesting. You can really see the. Uh, let's go on the uh, microscope here. Okay, hang on. Here we go. I think the filament has broken away from the bottom and uh, drifted over and then glued itself, welded itself to the side of that. Or, you know what? There could be nothing holding it right now, for all I know. Let's 
let's see. Can't hurt anything now. Yeah, see, there's nothing holding it. It's just, it's just sprung over there. So that would be the probably a directly heated <clears throat> cathode, or you could say a, a heater with no cathode sleeve. And that's usually what you find in a rectifier tube. And sure enough, that's what this is. This is a. I, don't know, I think it comes from a small television myself. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know, like a big chunk of glass is missing or something. It doesn't quite fit in there. I think they do go together, though. Maybe not. I'm pretty sure they do. Now, what else have we got in here? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> another another big tube. With, you can actually see the white material flaked off inside there. So uh, I'm sure you could look up on the internet and find out a lot more about what the reaction actually is. Oh, there's the crack in the glass right there. Oh, it's smashed down here, so oof. You know, something big like this, it's pretty fragile. That's too bad, isn't it? <clears throat> it's a pretty filthy uh, looking tube. You can see just the bottoms come off it. There's the cap on the top, so it's a three, so it's a rectifier too, of course. And I think that's it for my uh, my my tubes. I think isn't there one more? I think I have one more. Oh yeah, this one here. This one that's really broken here. There you can see if you look inside, you can see the grid a little just wrapped around some posts. One of the grids. If maybe there's more than one. I'm not sure what what is this tube. Six J six, and I couldn't tell you anything, but it does look like a <clears throat> a triode to me, but I can't tell for sure. And uh, there you are. Anyway, well. I hope you got a kick out of this. Uh, let me know. Let me know if, if you're enjoying this stuff. Um, there's lots more things I could do like this, um, along with all the radio work I'm doing, you know, in between uh, radio work. So if you're enjoying this stuff, just let me know in, in the comments there. I'd appreciate it. So thanks. See you later. <laughs>